Hey, what's up, guys? It is Luke Beller. So the Packers have met with another player. This came out actually a few days ago. I'm here from Justin Name once again, the guy who seems to know every single virtual meeting. It says, Auburn safety Jamie Sherwood excites me as a linebacker in a nickel sub package, a big physical hitter with a versatile skill set. Sherwood has met with 20-plus teams. That list includes Patriots, Vikings, Titans, Packers, Bills, 49ers, Bengals, Colts, New York Giants and Seattle Seahawks. So the Packers have met with this safety and we'll break down sort of what he looks like in today's video. But if you guys are new to the channel, I put up Packers content, Packers news analysis almost every single day. So if you want to see that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below. So taking a look at Jamie and Sherwood, um, when we take a look here at PFF, sort of their big board and where they rank players, because um, they got a lot, a lot of good stuff over here. Um, they rank him as the 163rd um, overall player in this draft. And I saw some people saying he's like more of like a third, possibly fourth round guy. Um, as you see here, went to Auburn, 6'2", 220 pounds. Um, Sherwood is a big, explosive safety who will be coveted by man coverage teams at 6'2", 220 pounds. He can line up just about anywhere. So a very versatile guy, um, can do lots of different things. And so the Packers have met with him, which means maybe they could potentially like what this guy has to offer. So as you can see here, they see him as a third round guy. Uh, Short has that new age overhang linebacker skill set. He'll be perfect for a team with a defined box safety. So who knows like what exactly Joe Barry is going to bring when it comes to defense for 2021. It'll be exciting to see sort of what he does do with this defense. I think all of us Packers fans are sort of curious as to what he's going to do. Um, maybe a guy like this would fit well with the system. I honestly am not completely sure. Um, we see pros from this guy, elite combo of size and explosiveness, lab created box safety traits, lights out tackler, only four misses on 71 attempts this season. Hey, if you can tackle, always good news. It seems the Packers at times have trouble tackling, so to add a great tackler would be awesome. No problem manning up, a tight end, easy for him, can flip hips and run the seam, smooth athlete. So it seems that he just has um, lots of different skill sets, can be used in lots of different places. And then if we take a look at his cons here, long speed doesn't match burst, range nothing great, angles coming downhill got exposed at times, best work is in space, not necessarily through blocks between the tackles, may have to carve out a specific role for him in the NFL, not likely a deep safety or a linebacker. Then here for their summary, it says after a part-time role that saw him make a couple spot starts in 2019, Sherwood finally got the starting nod as a true junior this past season. While he didn't do much in terms of making plays, his role wasn't particularly conductive to that. He was often the guy tasked with eating blocks on wide screens or wide runs, and he did that admirably. He can take on receiver or tight end blocks with ease. While he could have used more seasoning and maybe ended up in the first round with a big 2021 season, Sherwood should still be an immediate starter in the box. And so if we look down here to his snaps by alignment, as you can see, he's utilized like everywhere. He's been playing in the slot. He's played in the box a majority of the time. Also, he can play back deep. Um, so he's a guy who can basically do it all. So I just wanted to come in here, let you guys know the Packers have met with this guy, give you guys a little bit of a breakdown on this guy. But that's gonna be all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Uh, like this video if you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one.